Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to the Fort Salem Library, where we read you your fanfiction. So sit down or don't, relax or don't, and enjoy these stories in a way you have not before. We at Fort Salem Library do not own Motherland Fort Salem or any of the related characters. The Motherland Fort Salem series is created by Elliot Lawrence and owned by Freeform. This story is a work of fan fiction and is meant for entertainment only. We are not making any profit from these stories. All rights of the original Motherland Fort Salem story belong to Freeform. We also do not own Until Morning or any of its original characters and storylines. We did, however, get permission from the author to read their story. This story was created and written by Jordan Unbroken, and you can find the link on our show notes. This story is being read to you by me, Britt. Until Morning Chapter 16 Closer Riel was stock still as Scylla pressed her lips to hers. Riel's eyes drifted shut. Riel slid a hand up and caressed Scylla's cheek. The kiss was chaste, saccharine, and over far too quickly. When Riel opened her eyes, Scylla's were staring right back. Their breaths mingled, and Scylla brushed her nose against Riel's before leaning back into her chair. Yes, I'd like for this to be a date, Scylla spoke. Good, uh, <clears throat> Riel cleared her throat. I'm glad. So, what did you make for dessert? Scylla spoke, picking up her fork. The rest of dinner was filled with easy conversation. Riel's eyes didn't travel from the woman next to her, and from what she saw, Scylla hadn't drifted far from her either. Oh, man. So when we were in school, there was this girl I had a major crush on. We'd kissed a few times, and I asked her to the dance one day in front of her friends. She shut me down by yelling to the whole cafeteria that she wasn't gay and how disgusting I was. So then what happened? Scylla asked. Well, of course Tally stood up and shoved the girl. Broke out into a straight-up fist fight. Both of them ended up getting suspended. I know Tally looks sweet, but nobody messes with her family. Well, if I were there, I would have punched her too. Scylla put up her small fist and punched the air a few times. I usually don't condone violence, but I think I would love to see that. Riel gave Scylla a shy smile over the top of her glass before taking a sip. When did you know you were gay? Scylla asked. Pretty much knew forever. My parents honestly never batted an eye. I was sort of a rough and tumble kid, not the stereotype, but I think they always knew. Did... did you ever come out to your family? No. I had a high school boyfriend while they were alive. It didn't last very long. Then, being in the foster system, I was never in one place too long to really date. I didn't really realize I was bisexual until college. They were always supportive, though. It wouldn't have been a thing. I wish I could have met them, Riel said. Is that weird to say? It's not. Maybe a little weird to talk about meeting the parents on the first date, though. Okay, so tell me what would be first date appropriate, Riel laughed. I'd love to have dessert on the couch again, Scylla said. I can do that. Riel couldn't help the smile that spread across her lips. Riel took her suit jacket off, followed by the tie, tossing both over a dining chair. She then piled their dirty plates on her lap and took them to the sink. Riel rolled over to the bottom drawer of her fridge and took a container out of her freezer. It won't top your tiramisu, but I made some ice cream. You don't have to top me. Ice cream sounds perfect. Riel's brain short-secreted for a moment at the mental image of climbing on top of Scylla. Now fervently cursing her legs cast, Riel rolled over to a kitchen drawer and pulled out two spoons. Is straight from the container okay? No use in making you do more dishes, I suppose. Scylla smiled and took the spoons and ice cream from Riel, setting them on the coffee table in front of the sofa. Riel rolled close to her seat and locked the wheelchair's wheels. Ready? Scylla asked. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Scylla quickly took off her high heels. Easier with naked feet, Scylla said, getting ready to lift Riel. Okay, Riel nodded absently, lost in thought, at a much more naked Scylla. Scylla picked up Riel and gently placed her on the sofa. 
Their hands lingered on each other, and their eyes locked as Scylla pulled away. Rael's fingertips skimmed down Scylla's forearm until their palms met. Rael felt Scylla's grip tighten. Rael leaned forward and Scylla closed the space between them. A quick brush of lips. Then Rael took Scylla's face in her hands and pulled her closer. A small whimper came from the back of Scylla's throat as her open mouths joined. Rael's tongue tasted Scylla's lipstick. Scylla's hands slipped into Rael's hair. Rael pulled Scylla onto her lap. Wait, I don't want to... Scylla began, but at the moment, Riel needed Scylla's body against hers. Riel pulled her closer. Scylla's dress slid up as she straddled Riel's casted legs. You are doing the opposite of hurting me, Riel spoke against Scylla's ear as her fingers slid up the top of Scylla's thigh. Do you want me to stop? Riel tilted her head back and looked into Scylla's eyes. Scylla shook her head. Tell me, Syl. I need to hear it, Riel said her hand now on the side of Scylla's face, her thumb resting on Scylla's chin. Touch me, Scylla rasped. Scylla pulled Rael into a forceful kiss, then broke it to climb off of Rael's lap. Any momentary confusion or loss was quickly quelled as Scylla brushed the hem of her dress up to her hips and pulled down a pair of black lace underwear. Rael shuffled back a little as Scylla straddled her once more. You're so beautiful, Rael whispered. Scylla brought their mouths together once more as Riel's hand traveled up her inner thigh. You're everything, Scylla whispered back. With Scylla tucked into her side and only a blanket covering them both, the pair laid down on the sofa, the open container of ice cream atop Riel's lap. This is going to be much easier once the casts are off, Scylla spoke around a mouthful of ice cream. So you're saying we get to do this again? Riel smirked. I don't do one-night stands, Riel. Me neither, I was... Riel was cut off by the front door opening. Hey, Ray, how was... Telly began and saw the couple embraced on the couch. Seems like the date's still happening. I'm just gonna go. Yep, gonna go. Have fun. Telly left as quietly as she entered. Riel and Scylla laughed in embarrassment. Sorry, I forgot Telly was coming home. I wasn't thinking about much else either, Scylla said, running the back of her hand down the center of Riel's chest. I hate to kill the moon, Rael winced. But I'm pretty sure Telly isn't going to come back anytime soon. Scylla smiled. And that's the problem? I need to use the bathroom. Please find a fanfiction you just listened to on Archive of Our Own and leave the author some love. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. And we want to thank them from the bottoms of our hearts for creating these amazing stories and keeping the show alive.